Happy birthday, America! Woohoo! Happy 4th of July, everybody! Had to have my little flag here with me. Um, I hope everyone's having a great holiday weekend. I can't believe it's the last day, the 4th. Um, but what's more American than dairy, than milk, cheese, yogurt, right? Ice cream, uh, whipped cream. So, yeah, all the dairy. That's definitely an American staple, right? But unfortunately, a lot of people have issues digesting dairy. They can't tolerate it, and it bothers their bellies and presents all kinds of symptoms to people. So I, uh, I know a little bit about that. Um, back when I was in my, let me think here, I was in my early 20s. But even as a child, I had a lot of stomach problems, and um, they tested me for food allergies, and I nothing ever came back that I was allergic to anything. But as time went on, and um, you know, just I suffered like through a lot of different stomach aches, and just like I'd get like spasms and gas pains, and you know, constipation bloating. I had various episodes like that as a kid. And then whenever I was like 23, I went to the hospital. I think I went to the emergency room like, I don't know, five or six times in a span of like six months. It was like almost like once a month I was going to the emergency room with this excruciating stomach pain. They did colonoscopy. They did a colonoscopy on me. Um, barium swallow, you know, different things, and they never were able to give me a straight answer as to what it was. And then in 2009, I actually went to a holistic health counselor. Um, that's what we used to be called back whenever it started. Now it's Integrative Nutrition Health Coach. But the first holistic health coach, health counselor that I ever saw, um, she was the one who suggested that I may want to consider eliminating dairy for a few weeks and then bring it back in and see what happens. And so when I did that, I noticed a huge improvement and I didn't have any stomach issues and I stayed away from dairy for quite a, quite a while. And um, anytime I'd bring it back in, I'd have trouble. Well, then whenever... Uh, you know, not long after I had my son and was having, you know, all the symptoms of the underactive thyroid, I was, when I started doing my own research to try and see why I was having thyroid issues, I found a man who had a diet that was recommended for underactive thyroid. And I started doing it, and one of the key things with his diet was raw dairy. And when I first heard that, it made me nervous and I thought like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that because I had heard of people saying that, you know, there's people who've been gotten really sick from having raw dairy. Well, those cases are extremely rare, actually. And especially right now, there are more dairies who are providing raw milk than really ever before. It's becoming more and more popular, and there's a good reason for that. It's because for people like me, and maybe you or someone you know who has what's known as like being lactose intolerant or dairy intolerant, people who have typically been like that for most of their life are able to have raw milk and raw cheese and yogurt and other products that are made from raw organic milk. Why? What's the, what's the difference? Well, with conventional milk, conventional milk is pasteurized, which means that it's heated at a high temperature, and they do this uh, to kill any bad bacteria that could be in the milk. And then also the milk is homogenized, which means that they break up the cream and kind of make it all one consistency so that the cream doesn't rise to the top. So, um, when we process the milk like that, when we pasteurize it at the high temperatures that they do, yeah, we're killing, you know, some bacteria that, uh, you know, is considered bad, but it's really like not 
dangerous or anything. What's more dangerous is that in the pasteurization process, they're killing all the good bacteria that needs to be in the milk in order for us to digest it. So that's what's that's what makes raw milk digestible because it has all the oh sorry it has all the good bacteria and um, it has all of the precious you know nutrients and fatty acids and the vitamins and minerals are not tainted in any way so you know really the milk when it's coming from an organic grass-fed cow and you know they are doing the correct process of collecting that milk and properly bottling it and doing everything in a sanitary way they are really preserving a very potent extremely healthy whole food and um, there has been more research about the power of raw milk and raw cheese and other raw milk products in recent times and there's a lot of wonderful findings with it. Um, I have been purchasing raw organic milk for um, almost two years now and I have mentioned a farm before and I'll mention them again. Their name is The Family Cow. You can Google The Family Cow and you'll find their website. They have almost 50 drop drop-off points in Pennsylvania. Their farm is in Chambersburg, PA, and they travel and they deliver your online orders to the drop-off point that's closest to your house. And um, you can check out what they do. They have information about, you know, raw milk and um, just healing foods in general. Great, great resource. So you want to check that out if you are interested. But all I can tell you is that you know, I always had a very difficult time with conventional milk and conventional cheeses and yogurts and different dairy products. And once I switched over to the raw grass-fed organic products, I've never had, I've never had an issue. It's been fine. And, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of, there's, there's people who, they, they say, oh, well, you know, it's it's still not something that people should be drinking. You know, we're not cows and we shouldn't be drinking cow's milk and, and that sort of thing. And so I'm not, I'm not telling you these things or I'm not like, you know, standing up on a, like from an ivory tower, like you should go and consume, you know, raw dairy. I'm simply just trying to basically get the you know, maybe get the wheels turning. And, you know, if you are having an issue and you're open to, you know, trying something that may help you, that's definitely a consideration to make. Um, I can just tell you that from my experience, it's been great. From the literature that I've read, it, you know, they are finding that, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a wonderful healing food. And, um, yeah, I've been incorporating the raw milk and the raw cheese and their yogurt into my diet for the past couple of years and my, my family's diet, and um, we've definitely benefited from it. So yeah, check out The Family Cow, or maybe you have a, a local dairy that is, is doing the raw milk. So, um, you know, talk to them and find out what their process is. And I will tell you that, you know, most of the time, a, f a farm that is producing raw milk, their cows are pasture raised because that is their ideal food, the grass with the cows being herbivores. Um, you know, so they, they thrive with that as their main food source and then they don't have to worry about them getting sick or having issues themselves because that's, that's what they should be eating. You know, they should be pasture raised. So um, that's your tip for the day and I hope everyone has a great rest of your holiday and if you have any questions um, please get in touch with me this is the last video we are starting our six-week online coaching program tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. so if you are interested in doing that there's still room and I would love to have you all right, well, take care and we'll be in touch soon. Have a great evening. Thanks.